what is up with me and my weirdest transparent terminal so some people were asking under that video like what is a transparent terminal and others were like well this is hideous because you can't see anything well it's it's the first thing that i do whenever i install a new linux is just i open up the terminal and i customize it I don't just tune down the opacity, I also remove all the menu bars and everything and I wish I could also remove the scroll bar because I really don't need that, like I can scroll using the mouse or the uh, keyboard. By the way, why are people just either hating using the mouse and clicking or uh, hating using the keyboard or I don't, I don't know, I don't think there are actually people who genuinely love using the mouse for everything who also use Linux, but <laughs> like, yes, I hate clicking too, all right? But in editing, it's inevitable and I would not want to edit any video using the keyboard. I am not going to use a tiled window manager because I am editing a lot. It's not practical. It's practical for coding and, you know, if you have a slow computer, it'll make your computer faster. And I actually did use a tiled window manager in the past. It was awesome. But um, Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you my, my terminal because, well, because I can. And then that's it. I use it with my mountain background here. I just like that. I can see what I'm writing just fine. If I can't, you know what I do? Because I don't have a tail window. <laughs> if I can't see everything, I just put the terminal on one side of the desktop and then what I want to read on the other side. But usually I use that over stuff that I'm reading on Stack Exchange where I'm totally not copying every other code snippet. I actually I'm not because I don't have the time to Google shit when I can just make it up because sometimes like some of the solutions on those sides are just, I don't know. Do people not know how to elegantly code? Did, not, did they not learn that in some place that is educational? I don't know, but just, so, is it just me or some of the solution, solutions that you find online just complete bullshit? And if you're looking at it, and you, if you're a programmer, if you're a programmer, you look at that and you're like, what are they doing? Why is this taking so long? Why, why is this so much code? Like, I have literally come across so many, especially R and Python solutions, and I thought, this is a mass bulk operation. You can do that in a single line. Why are you making up five for loops, you fucking noob? Anyway, maybe there are so many out there like this because all, all the people who are like me and think like, well, this is one liner. I don't have the time to actually post an answer because you need fucking credits for that. Is that still a case that you need like credits in order to be able to post a solution? Because yeah, that's why I'm never posting my solutions anywhere. Go GitHub. Here's my drum roll. Let's see my settings. How do I open the menu when there is like no menu bar? Well, I just right click into the terminal and you go preferences. And that's it. And then there's all sorts of stuff like what's my transparency even? Ooh, I made it all pastel. I think that's a little bit low. Like I have 58 transparency. I think 70 is good, right? Oh, no, no, I don't like that. Let's, let's put it back to, I can read that. It's, it's like the same thing with like with the ceiling light. I also never use the ceiling light. I would be perfectly happy in Sweden, you guys. I would be perfectly happy there because I'm an indirect light girl. That's it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your transparent turmoil. Yes, I know this video was useless, but you watched it. You watched it until here. Go now, go. The, the video is finished. So, so if you're still here, um, you know, if you're still here and you're watching this, you can you can keep watching. You can just go and watch this video or or this. <laughs>